We'll have a look now at um, longitudinal stability and just touching on true mean draft and arithmetic mean draft and the, the crucial difference between the two. Well, the average mean draft, arithmetic average mean draft, is simply the two drafts forward and aft added together and divided by two. And that's different than the true mean draft because the true mean draft is the draft at the centre of flotation. And it's the only point about which the vessel, the, the draft, doesn't change. So if we look at this drawing here, what's happening is, is the weight has been moved and therefore the initial water line has changed. And you can see that going along this water line, this new water line, the draft is changing all the time. On our initial water line, of course, because we were the same draft forward and aft, it was the same draft all the way along. But now the vessel has had cargo operations, it's meant that the water line has changed. In other words, the trim, we've now introduced trim forward and aft. And all the way along this water line, the draft is changing. And at one point only does it not change. And that's where the true mean draft occurs. And you can see on this sketch the difference between the true mean draft and the average mean draft. OK, so it's important that true mean draft, average mean draft. OK, well, how do we get our true mean draft? Well, if we know our drafts forward and aft, then what we would do, we'd work out our average mean draft. And then with that, we would go into the tables and look up our LCF with the average mean draft. And we'll do, have a look at a problem here. It gives us the length of the vessel and it actually gives us the LCF and it gives us our drafts forward and aft. Okay. Now the formula for true mean draft, it's the aft draft plus or minus LCF over length between perpendiculars times the total trim. Now in this instance we would subtract it because the vessel is trimmed by the stern. So if the vessel is trimmed by the stern, it means the aft draft is greater. So if you want to find the true mean draft, it must be less than this 9.32 as we have in this example. So when we look at this formula, we must subtract the difference of the aft draft. So the easiest way to approach this is when you look at the formula, look at your two drafts, if you were um, trimmed by the head, then you would add it, and here we're trimmed by the stern, which you usually are, of course, you subtract it. So we get our total trim, and our total trim is simply the difference between the two drafts, 9.32 and 7.48. So our total trim is 1.84 metres. So to get the true mean draft, it's the average uh, aft draft of 9.32 minus 66 over 130, which is LCF. LCF over length between perpendiculars, multiplied by the total trim. So what we're doing, we're subtracting from the aft draft a proportion of the total trim. And that gives us an answer of 8.386. So in this instance, our true mean draft is 8.386. Now the true mean draft, as I say, it's the draft at the centre of flotation, and it's the only point where the draft doesn't change with trim. OK, it's the centre of gravity of the water plane area as well. And the LCF, you get the value from the tables, the hydrostatic particulars. And as we can see here, LCF, and it's measured, when we look at all these values here, these are always measured from the after perpendicular. So with longitudinal stability, everything is measured from the aft perpendicular. And LCF, you would get from the tables. And if we have a look at other values here that you need, LCB, which is the longitudinal centre of buoyancy, again, that's obtained from the tables. And the other two values that we obtain, one is MCTC. MCTC are the moments required to change the trim by one centimetre. So in other words, at a draft of seven metres in salt water, if we had moments of 184.6, that would change the trim by one centimetre. Be very careful here because you have salt water and fresh water and your vessel will be in one or the other. And that's how you would obtain the value of MCTC using one of those two there. The fourth value that we pick is our draft. 
And this is, when we look at our displacements, these drafts are effectively our true mean drafts. So when you've loaded and discharged the various amounts of cargo, the parcels of cargo, you will end up with a final displacement. You go into the table with that displacement, if for example it was 12073, then our true mean draft would be 5.9, our MCTC in salt water would be 168.5, our LCB would be 70.46, and LCF would be 68.43. So we could get we get all those values from the hydrostatic particulars. There is one other value that we need to solve the problem. Now we've got our center of buoyancy from the tables, we've got our center of flotation from the tables, we've got our MCTC, and we've got our draft, true mean draft. The last value we need is our longitudinal center of gravity. Okay, LCG, longitudinal center of gravity. And how we get that is much the same as we get the kg of the vessel. In other words, the center of gravity of the vessel from the keel. And what we do, we have a weight times a distance, gives us moments. And we add, subtract the moments accordingly, get the total moments divided by the final displacement. And that gives us our final LCG. And if we quickly look at this sketch, you can see that if g is further back than b, center of gravity, then the vessel will be trimmed by the stern. So it tells you that if the LCB value is greater than LCG, the vessel must be trimmed by the stern. So if LCB is more than LCG, your vessel will be trimmed by the stern. And an easy way to remember that is the group BGs. So if B comes before G, if B is greater than G, you must be trimmed by the stern. So we would get most of the values from the hydrostatic particulars, maybe by interpolation, if your displacement doesn't fit exactly with one of these values, you would need to interpolate. And the values we get, true mean draft, MCTC, depending on salt or fresh water, LCB, and LCF. Once we've got those four values, plus the LCG that we need to calculate, we can then put those into a formula to calculate the total trim. What we then do is apportion that trim forward and aft to get our final drafts forward and aft. So that's just a quick resume really on how we approach solving um, a longitudinal problem.